All right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp, and I'm coming back at you with another lesson. And really, this is just going to be a quick video. I'm going to be right here in the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter. And this is a beautiful chapter, as you know, as all the scriptures are. And um, I'm not going to go all into this chapter. I just want to hit a couple of verses because this is the time that we're entering. The time of the, uh, the burden of Babylon. The time of uh, Jacob's trouble. The time of uh, the Most High showing his terror okay to babylon the great so let's read uh isaiah 13 1 really 13 uh yeah 13 and 1 and i'm gonna jump to the eighth verse okay because real quick before i read this thing can pop off all hell can break loose we at the point now this it can anything can pop off or all hell can pop off at any given minute any given day any given week any given month okay to a year or years we but we we really at the point in time of any minute some can pop off and 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 all the shit can just hit the fan and we go from this this uh, hokey pokey, as the apostle call it, um, and to the uh, to the uh, you know the microchip, where well, that's being made uh, mandatory, and the, the shelves are empty, and uh, just all hell is breaking loose. You know, people are losing their jobs, people are refusing to you know get with the program so that you know lose their lose their job okay there's gonna be the crime rate is gonna be through the roof and in this chapter it also talks about ravishing women are gonna be getting raped out here yeah when the society breaks down that's what happens you look at the movie um what's the movie i can't think of the damn name of the movie if it come to me, I'll bring it out. Let's read the scripture. This is Isaiah 13 and 1. It says, The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. And uh, this is not talking about the ancient Babylonian kingdom in this chapter. This is talking about Babel, the daughter of Babylon, America. How do we know this? Because when you read in this chapter, and I'm not going to get it. Oh, I could. I can get it. Um... It said this place is gonna be pretty much be destroyed by the by the Medes. Yeah, and it says let's read right here, Isaiah 13 and 20. It's talking about Babylon. We established the subject matter is the burden of Babylon. But which Babylon? It says it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation neither shall the arabian pitch tent there neither shall the shepherds make their fold there so this has never happened to a plot of land a region of land on the planet earth where um it was once inhabited and then it, it became uninhabited with no man uh dwelt from generation to generation because america is going to be wiped off the map so to speak by thermonuclear destruction. Okay? And you can read this whole chapter. I want to jump to this verse because everybody's relaxed and thinking things are going to go back to normal when shit is about to get worse. There will be no more normality as the people think. This is what's going to take place. Isaiah 13 and 8, it says... And they shall be afraid, yeah, the peoples of, of uh, Babylon the Great, including the military. It says, pains and sorrow shall take hold of them because people are going to be in a depressed, stressed, terrified, 
all kind of horrible emotions are going to be running through the minds of the people. It says, they shall be in pain as a woman that travail it. Yeah, you know how a woman is hysterical and damn near, you know, she, she's showing emotions as damn near she about to die. Like she can't take it when she's um, going through them labor pains. It says, they shall be amazed one at another. Yeah, the people are going to be looking at each other. And they're going to have this look on their face. A shocking look. They're going to be shocked at what the fuck is going on in this country. Because something that they never thought could come to this place is coming. I mean, it's going to look like what's going on in some of these third world countries, so to speak times 10 it's gonna get bad out here and we didn't see little glimpses of it the rolling blackouts down here in texas uh hurricane katrina you know um then they just got hit with another one right louisiana the new orleans just got hit with another one right and we seeing a little glimpse but that's nothing compared to what's gonna come so everybody's gonna be looking at each other with this frightening terrifying look on their face it says their faces shall be as flames and that's going into what I just said the people are going to have this shocked their eyes are going to be lit up you know they're uh, uh, from the terror that they're going to be witnessing in this place the most high is going to show America uh, one of his titles which is uh, Alashadia, demon-like power. And that's what's coming to this place, man. So, hey, you know, that's pretty much it. I can go on and on, bring out scriptures. I want to make it quick. And uh, what inspired me to go into this verse was the apostles. I believe it was, uh, I don't know if they brought this scripture out, but they had mentioned this verse, Isaiah 13 and 8. And talked about, and they talked about how the people' faces are gonna be as uh, flames. So, Lord willing, this video was edifying. Into the next one, a shallow one.